How's it going everybody? Sick Eric back again with another video and I'm going to do my best to show you guys how to convert your T-Mobile OnePlus 7 Pro into an international version as you can see right here. Hopefully the noise doesn't get in the way. It's raining right now pretty hard and uh, hopefully it doesn't bother you guys. I'm going to do my best to do this. I've never done a video like this before as far as phone stuff. I admit I am a little rusty at it. It has been a while since I've messed around with phones like this uh, before. I have not rooted my device. All I did was convert it. And as you can see right here by the firmware, Oxygen OS 957. I am running the latest from OnePlus. This is not T-Mobile's uh, Ox um, update right here. So, And as you can see right here, it does have the support for dual SIM. I do not have my SIM card in here right now. But... And even though this uh, SIM tray is only a single, it does support dual SIM, or you have the option to select that in the menu. I'm pretty sure you can get a SIM tray off of Amazon that is a dual SIM. So let's go ahead and jump down into it. Now this is pretty simple as far as downloading the files that you need and extracting them onto your computer. It gives you the files right here. I suggest using the mirror. Go ahead and click on that. And it will give you, and it sure is raining outside. It'll give you several different files to download. Now I do not know these the driver. I did not do anything with this file, so you just probably download the Guacamole, which is pretty much your firmware and your MSM Tool 4.0 patch. So you're gonna want to download both of these and put them on your computer. Now this is a two gigabyte file, so it might take a little while to download, depending on your internet. And once you are with that, done with that, you could, no I do not want to, create a folder, which I have right here, to put all this stuff in. So once you're done with that, you want to create a folder and put those two files in here. And once you are done with that, say you go into your guacamole one you're gonna hit um, the zip and then you're gonna extract files here and it'll extract all the files into this folder and you're gonna go into um, the uh, MSN tool and it should have all of that downloaded in there let's see what's in here click on that nope cancel yes I've already done all of this stuff, so I'm not going to do it again. And then you have your tool right here as well. Now, in order to download the drivers, and the easiest way to do that is to... Sorry, I hit the camera. <laughs> My bad. The easiest way to do that is just to plug in your OnePlus device and keep it to where it is no data transfer. And then once you have that done... It should pop up on your folder. Let's go ahead and click that out of there. Do no data transfer. Let's see if I'm doing this right. Data transfer. Click out of that. You're gonna want to go to driver plus right here so you're going to hit once you download your once you connect your phone to your computer you're going to hit that file transfer and you're going to double click on the c drive f one plus drivers and then you're going to hit driver setup double click that and that will give the option to install the drivers you go through the complete setup to install the drivers i've already done this and it'll go through the process of installing the drivers for you. That way, you're all ready to go. And you're finished. So let's go ahead and go back to that page. So once you're done with that, uh, you should not need to do anything in developer options unless you're going to unlock 
your bootloader, which I did not. So once you're done with all that, you have all the files downloaded and extracted. You're gonna want to go to your folder and you're gonna go ahead and double click the MSM tool and the tool will pop up and it will start running. Any moment now, it'll start running. All right, there we go. So you're gonna want to uncheck the SHA-256 check. I did not do that, yet everything worked out all right. I don't know, just Lincoln, Lincoln just makes the process longer. I'm not sure, but I forgot to uncheck that and everything started just fine. As you can see right here, you have your connections, your status, and your start button. So in order to connect your device, you're gonna to want to power off your device so now it's shutting down. Now I had a little bit of trouble doing this, but I managed to get it done. So once it's completely powered down, you're gonna hold both your volume buttons, the volume up and the volume down at the same time for about five seconds, and then connect your USB cable and let go. And as you can see right here, it says connected. Now once it says connected, you want to immediately hit the start button and everything will start up and going by itself. If you wait a little while, as you can see right here, it says status NA, so it disconnected. So you want to do it immediately, right as soon as you plug in your device and it says connect it, you're gonna wanna hit start and then it'll go through the progress of downloading right here for you. And it'll take about five to 10 minutes to do so and keep in mind this will erase all the data on your phone but once you're done with all of that and it is done it will reboot and it will start up as you can see right here and the most satisfying part of this is seeing the oneplus boot up logo on your device like this so no t-mobile stuff no t-mobile bloat Everything is straight from OnePlus now, and this worked excellent. And now, once you're done with all of that, you should have an international version of the OnePlus 7 Pro. No T-Mobile stuff on here. Um, no Unlock app, no T-Mobile app. If you need all that stuff, you can go on the Play Store and download that yourself. Now, you can do this. Uh, you can further... Uh, mess with your device. Let's go ahead and go back to Chrome uh, That is just to convert it now if you want to unlock your bootloader uh, You're gonna have to de enable developer options on here now. I did not do that. So don't go through You know don't do what I'm telling you to do right now because I'm not sure I have not done that yet so you go into your system uh, about phone and you click build number of course all the times you need to do it seven or ten times and then you go into system and you go into developer options and it says here to enable developer options and enable OEM unlocking which is right there and USB debugging uh, as well and then you can bootload you can load into fastboot OEM and unlock the bootloader too. But like I said, I did not do that. I had a trouble uh, getting into Fastboot, so I just did not mess with that. And it will erase everything on your device again, which keep in mind, you just did that while converting. So pretty easy, pretty simple to do. Um, all it takes is downloading a couple different files, installing drivers and connecting your device and hitting that start button up here. And like I said, you're going to want to uncheck the SHA-256 check on there as well. So like I said, turn off your device and hold the volume buttons, both of them at the same time. Plug in your device and it will come up as connected. So let's go ahead and do that again. That way you guys don't fuck this up. So once your device is off, hold down your volume buttons at the same time. Connect your USB, and as you can see right there, 
it does say connected and then you're going to want to hit start and once you're done with that it'll go through the process five ten minutes converting everything for you and then it'll re reboot your phone and you are done but like i said see how it just disconnected you want to do this as soon as it says connected so hope you guys enjoy this hopefully you guys don't fuck up your phone because i don't want to be blamed for that i tried to do my best here to show you how to do it there's instructions on here on this website for you to follow pretty much to the t and there is also a another uh, thread on here to show you how to revert back to t-mobile if you want to whoa shit I actually shook the camera all right so I, guys so i'm gonna go ahead and go it's really getting shitty outside hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you did thumbs down if you didn't comment down below if you, if you were able to convert your device if you got any problems i would try to help you out the best i can like i said i'm not a pro especially when it comes to computers that being said guys don't forget to subscribe peace